Hello guys, today I want to show you the code of our new filament project about doctor schedules. In fact, it's for scheduling of any kind of employees or something like that. So see the page of a doctor with schedule Monday to Wednesday, and here's how it works. Doctors list, it's a little bit zoomed in version, then you go to manage schedule of specific doctor, and then you add availability rule, for example, for this clinic, if the doctor works in multiple clinics, and then you specify that Thursday and Friday, that doctor starts at, for example, 11 a.m., and then submit, and it appears on the schedule here. Not only that, you can add block time for vacations or parenting leave or other reasons. So in this video, I will show you that custom page, then custom column for this schedule, and also custom actions, how to tie it all together in the doctor's table. Now I will show you the code of that project and we'll release that full project as part of our filamentexamples.com. So if you want to get the full repository, you can access it there. And just this week, we have a new promotion called Back to School, both here on filamentexamples.com and on my main laravaldaily.com. With coupon code SCHOOL25, you will get 40% off yearly or lifetime membership plans. This is until September 14th this week. But even if you don't have membership in this video, I will show you the full code, the main things that you need to know to achieve this project functionality. So first that managing of the schedule is done in a custom filament page. So when you click manage schedule, we have a URL with get parameter selected doctor ID. And in the code, it's in app filament pages. It's called manage doctor schedule class, extending filament page, but using forms and tables inside. As you can see, interacts and has forms and tables. And then in the URL, we have this selected doctor ID, which is automatically resolved. And then we can query the doctor by its ID. And then to get the link to that custom page in the doctor's table, in the doctor's resource, there's a table where we have action. In the record actions, in addition to default edit action, we have custom action make with the URL and then manage doctor schedule get URL with that selected doctor ID parameter. So this is how you build this link manage schedule. Now what's inside here? Let's talk about this table. So schedule rules, the list of rules for that particular doctor. And in manage doctor schedule, one of the properties is the blade view. And inside of that blade view in filament components like X filament section and others, we can find find this table. That table is a regular filament table. So inside of that custom page, we can find table with query, selecting doctor schedules from the database, and then we have columns, schedule type, then clinic, where that doctor works, so these two, and then schedule is a custom column. I'll get to that in a minute. Then we get the column for date range when that rule is applicable, and then reason, with a few things like badges and colors here and there. Now that custom column, schedule details column, you can create any custom column in any filament table actually, if it's more complicated than just text column or something. So you have the full record from the database as a parameter here and then inside, you can do whatever you want with like collections, for example, some operations with weekdays, a lot of pretty custom stuff. And then at the end of that, you return the HTML code with breaking the lines and also perform another collection operation to view it like this from day to day, from time to time. As you saw, this is pretty complicated operation of collections and strings and others. But what I'm saying here is just you return the string, which you can then later use as column make. Next, let's take a look at these two buttons. So add availability rule and add a block time. You saw that already. But for example, let's add a reason for holiday, let's say, and let's change the dates to, for example, from Monday to Thursday, for example, submit. And here we have row number three. So how does it all works with those two buttons and modal windows? In that custom page class, and let's close the sidebar, there is a function called get header actions. So those header actions are on the top right, and we have two of them, add availability and add blocked. And in both of them, we have two things, schema with custom method and action to save that schema result. So if we go to get availability form, it's a regular filament form. Select the clinic, select checkbox list with some customizations and date pickers, 
and nothing really too fancy here. Get blocked form is pretty similar, just different fields for reason, for example, text input and same date pickers. And then to save that form data, another set of functions, so two public functions, create availability rule, and this is the syntax to save that schedule. And for that, we're using pretty new Laravel package called Laravel Zap. This is the GitHub repository of that package with already almost a thousand stars, although it was released a few months ago. It's a pretty powerful package to save various schedule options. I will just scroll a bit to show you a few examples. So yeah, a lot of syntax options and I will link that package in the description below so you can read about it more. But basically this is saving the data in the database, then load doctor clinics is reloading the data for the list of clinics for the doctor. And then we show the notification and reset the table, which resets the data for that table below as you saw. And that code is from the core filament. Now we are in vendor and not in our custom page. As a result, in the database we have this. This is according to that Laravel Zap package. We have schedules database table with this set of data and with metadata, for example, you can add clinic ID for a specific schedule and then more fields in the database here. And also we have schedule periods like this also saved in the database. So yeah, these are the main things that you need to know about this project, custom page, then header actions with modals and saving the data and then custom action in the table to tie it all together. What do you think about this project? Would you have done something differently or you have any questions I can then explain in the comments below or give some useful links. And if you want the full repository, the full source code, as I mentioned, it's on filamentexamples.com where this week we have promotion for 40% off membership, which gives you not only this project, but dozens of other projects. Currently we are in progress of upgrading most of the projects to filament four. So in total, we have 37 projects at the moment at the time of shooting this video, but I'm pretty sure it will be more at the time of this video being published. And we have many more projects and plans and we accept ideas from you guys in the comments. You can write what projects we should create on filament. So yeah, it's a good time to join the membership with 40% off this week. Discount code school 25. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.